change it up a little bit now. And Anna Delvey is known as one of the world's most conniving con artists. And while you've probably heard her name, you might not actually know her story, or at least you might not know her side of it. Born as Anna Sorkin in 1991, she had a taste for the high life, moving to New York City, where she conned her way into an extravagant lifestyle by posing as a German heiress. I was just kind of doing whatever I wanted at the time. So you just wanted to go straight to the top? <laughs> kind of, yes. Why waste my time? <laughs> but it all came crashing down in 2019, arrested on multiple theft charges. Delvey was found guilty in 2019 of stealing more than a quarter million dollars from acquaintances, banks and hotels to bankroll her lavish lifestyle. Now, after serving nearly four years in prison and even having a Netflix series named after her. Her story was then captured in the Shonda Rhimes produced Netflix miniseries, Inventing Anna. Hannah is on house arrest, trying to reinvent herself. And she is speaking out in her brand new podcast, and she joins us live from New York City. Hi, Anna. Hey, Anna. Hi. How are you? We are well. Thank it's, you. It's, well, it's, we're pleased to have you on the show because the world has been fascinated with you and your story, and you've now got uh, the podcast. It's called The Anna Delvey Show. Uh, tell us about it. That's correct, yeah. That's one of my um, more recent projects, and um, I'm very excited. It's a great opportunity to... Um, meet new people and talk to them and kind of flip the side because I've been interviewed so much. And um, now um, I get to be the interviewer and um, to do the research and I uh, get to, yeah. So who are some of your guests? I was Natasha Stagg, Whitney Cummings, uh, so a lot of journalists who interviewed me, Emily Palmer, Jacob Chamsian, um, have some musicians, um, a lot of exciting people who are I, um, I can relate to one way or another. So looking back on, on your time, Anna, and, and now you being out of prison and sort of reforming your life and coming back to your life now, how do you, um, uh, how do you look back on your past and, and moving forward from that, and how do you allow your audience to see that? I'm just trying to, yeah, move on in my life and um, work on projects that I can do from uh, being in confinement of my New York apartment here, so... Um, I never had any criminal intent, and um, hopefully people will give me a chance to um, do something else with my life. I mean, well, do, do you and regret what happened? I mean, do you, do you regret happening if people that you know, people that, that lost money to you? Have you spoken to them, and is there sort of like a, a peace there now? I mean, not one single person is involved in my uh, criminal case. So all my crimes are against financial institutions and businesses, and I repaid my restitution in full in 2021. Well, you've said that this podcast, you're hoping for a second chance. Yeah. How important is it for you to be able to have a platform for you to speak out now? I mean, I can't control what people will think or say about me. What I can control is what I'm doing. And, um, yeah, it's just kind of up to them. They can make whatever they want out of it. And um, the people who think I'm interesting or people who want to go on my podcast and listen to it, that's great. And um, it's been pretty popular and I uh, have a lot of people who have so many episodes all lined up that I'm so excited to release. Uh, and it's just a different way to tell your story. It's not like just me telling what happened. It's kind of me revealing a bit more of my personality and what I'm interested in um, and kind of, yeah, just tell more about myself through uh, the guests I'm choosing and the topics I choose to discuss. So, yeah. Yeah, and that, I think that's interesting for your audience too. I think they want to hear about you because, I mean, mm. you've had so much around you and surrounding you and so many people telling that story for yeah. you. There was Inventing Anna with Julia Garner and, you know, did you did you watch that Netflix series? I mean, did you, what did you make of all of that? I had never watched the series. I only watched the clips that were online, but um, yeah, it's a dramatized version of um, Jessica Pressler's story and um, it's being told from the journalist perspective. So I think they wanted to keep that um, distance, so it's not its not being told from my um, perspective, so. So you're not planning on watching it? Not uh, right now, no, maybe sometime later. Yeah. Okay. Well, you Fair spent enough. nearly four years in prison and you're now on house arrest, so you, you're keeping busy. You've also got a reality show in the works? 
No, it's just a documentary. I'm not interested in um, doing anything with reality television. Okay. That would be labeled as reality. And it's just a documentary about what I'm doing now. And, um, well, it's fair to say that you're trying to take charge of your life and, and start yes. again. And, and it looks like a lot of people are there to support you and you have a lot of fans. Um, good luck to you, Anna. We hope to speak to you again sometime soon. Thank you so much for having me. It's no pleasure. problem. You Thanks, Anna. You can listen to The Anna Delvey Show. It's on Spotify. Coming up... On hey there today, fans. Sarah and... What's my name again? Oh my God. <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?